biologists go out to study zebras and they're like making notes on a zebra and they watch it and then they look down at their notes and then they look up and they think, oh, oh I don't know which zebra I was looking at. So the camouflage is actually against the herd because a zebra is a herd animal, not an individual. So this was a quandary for the biologists, so they did one of two things. One was use a dab of red paint and dab the haunch of the zebra or tag it with an ear tag like you use for cattle. The lions would kill it. So as soon as it became identifiable, the predators could organize their hunt around that identifiable animal. That's why, you know, there's the old idea that lions and predators take down the weak animals, but they don't. They take down the identifiable animals. So that's the thing, is if you stick your damn head up, you get picked off by the predators. And so one of the things that academics seem to do is congregate together in herd-like entities, and then they share a language. The language unites them. As long as they share the same set of linguistic tools among themselves, it's group protection strategy. 